So then how to accumulate more Cardano without actually spending any more money. We're going to go over it in this video, but please, if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and press that bell button. It makes a massive difference. Also leave a like. So yesterday, two days ago, whatever, I put a video about Cardano saying that I bought it. I'm looking to accumulate it though, right? So this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to explain how I'm going to do it. I like to accumulate coins. I like to keep my money at, you know, an arm's reach sort of length and only use profits. And I put a little bit of money into this. I've also pressed the sword button as well. So this indicator here, if you're probably wondering, if you go to the top link, the Hitman, right? This is a free version. So you can try it for free on TradingView. So just literally, you click on the link, it'll lead you to this page here, put it into your favorites, happy days, right? You can try it for free. This doesn't have alerts, but the main version does if you want to use that one. But in terms of the strategy tester, we're pretty much there with in terms of profitability of the back test and the profit factor, not bad. But what I want to say is this, not enough people are looking to grow their investments by being clever and selling at peaks and tops. And you can see them on the daily, you can see them on the weekly when things start to turn around and just using basic moving averages. Now, the moving averages that I use, I've got the EMA 21, apologies, 34, and I've got the SMA 100 plus the, the 200, right? So that's a 200, that's a 100, that's a 34, that's a 21. This would indicate a downtrend anyway. It's because we're below the short moving averages on the daily, which is usually key, and then below the moving average 100, bit key, deep bear mode, SMA 200 on the daily. So with that in mind, this brings me to this. You invest, say, 100 USTD. Right, not much. Let's say with that you get equivalent of a thousand ADA, just to make sure. Right, just numbers aren't right, but just for simple, simple maths, we know. So say you invest one hundred dollars. Right, that will obviously be a hundred USTD. We'll say that gives you a thousand. I know it's not right, but just for argument's sake, right? That is where you start off with. Let's say that you start off. I don't know. Start 2017, uh, 19, sorry. Cool, Christy. Right, that's your start point. It goes up in price. We know that it goes up in price. Say you buy here and you sell up here somewhere when it triggers off again. 85% gain, which is huge, right? Huge amount of monies. So what would that bring you to be? Well, that would then bring it up to, you know, you'd have, in terms of profit, you'd have $85. Technically, minus your fees and stuff. So that would be 185 USTD that you have just moved into that. So your 1,000 Cardano coins have now gone into 185 USTD, right? Make sense? I hope it does. So with that, let me remove the first bit off that so you, you can, it, it's a, oh, it's more clear. If you want entertainment, you're in the right place. So that's where you would be. You'd be like, right, cool. I've got that. Made some money. You're, you've still got 1,000 coins up there, though, right? You don't now. You've moved it into USTD. However, when you buy back in with that 185 USTD, what have you got? Well, if you were selling up here and then you bought back in on this trend line on a retest, so when it goes above it and it goes beyond that, you've got an extra 13% coins which would give you, on a buyback, what would you think? Well, you get an extra 113 coins, essentially. We'll say that. So you're already growing your bag two ways. You're constantly growing it. Now, I'm not saying here, by the way, just a disclaimer, dump all your ADA right now because it's going to go lower. No. What I'm saying is, if you believe in the project, if you feel that you it, think long-term and you want to grow a little bit of it, why not do it? Why not do it? So say you're a holder, you believe in it, take a little bit out of that, put it on the exchanges and go, right, you know what, on the daily or the weekly, if we're in a bull trend, I'm going to hold on to it. If we're in a bear trend, I'm going to sell it and I'm going to rebuy back low. Get more for your money, just why not? So again, that's kind of how it works, but you repeat the cycle over and over. And obviously it's, it's pretty crazy, it's pretty choppy, but obviously it goes up and down, up and down. You need to be relaxing with this. You need to be quite, you know, 
quite happy with it the fact that you will eventually make more don't worry too much about the USTD value worry about how many coins you are getting if you start off with a thousand then six months later you got 25,000 you win simple as that because you never know what the future of that coin is obviously do not do this with an absolute shit coin but do it with a good one but look at this for an example here look at this for a bear trend it's huge bear trend right and you're going to get these throughout the markets and we've already seen it throughout and look at it right if you go down and if you like rebuy back on whatever this is even on the year and it goes even lower than that you know if you've got a thousand you uh coins for example or ten thousand you know <laughs> 450 extra for doing what? Nothing. You literally just rebuying back with the money that you originally had as profit. So there you go. Simple. When the coin goes up, your USTD values will go up. Your coin value won't change. When, however, you sell at the top into the USTD as a stable currency and it goes lower, guess what? You're going to have more coins for your money. In two three years time we don't know what the price will be of of this if you can get an extra two three four five ten thousand hundred thousand coins by putting no money in and keeping your own money do it that way so rules of engagement right simple moving averages are key make sure you're in with the trend obviously if you're below this trend and it closes it's then lost support this would now be res resistance it comes down. We know that, right? It's obvious. It's obvious to look back. But when you look at the current state of play right now, above the EMA 200, uh, SMA 200, above all the moving averages, obviously it's going up well. It's looking nice and neat. But all of this here, even if you're using the moving average 100 as a guide, you know, it's not bad. It's not a bad little gauge of trend. And same with the SMA 200. So I hope this does help. I hope this does show you that you can compound it up. Even if you start with a small amount and grow it, you never know what you could end up with in the future without putting any extra profit or money into assets at lower prices.